Hello everyone. My name is Lila from the Edison Public Library and I'm here today to show you some more crafts to do with your free time. Uh, so to get in the autumn slash Halloween spirit, today we're going to be making uh, cork pumpkins. So these are a fantastic centerpiece for your table, a nice little decoration for your mantle, or wherever else you want to put it. So let's get into what you're going to do. See you in a bit. So for this craft, you're going to need a whole lot of wine corks, uh, some orange paint, paint brushes, a hot glue gun, and make sure you have something to put the hot glue gun on, just because you don't want hot glue everywhere, of course, uh, and some decorative items and scissors. So of course, you're only going to need the scissors if you choose to use the decorative items. Uh, but overall, this craft is pretty easy to do, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is organize your corks into the shape of the pumpkin you want. So usually, of course, pumpkins have a bit of a smaller bottom, uh, a fat middle, and then it goes smaller at the top. Uh, I also had an oddly shaped cork, so I decided that I'm going to use that as my stem. Um, and of course, uh, all of your corks are going to look a little different based off of uh, what you're collecting. Uh, so some of these are a little bit of a reddish color, so I'm going to try to incorporate that into my pumpkin. So once you have your corks organized, you can start gluing, uh, and you'll see me do that in just a second. So now that I have my corks organized, I am just going to start gluing with my hot glue. Um, mine's still warming up a little bit, so I get a chance to talk to you guys. Um, so make sure that you don't have the side facing out where you put in um, the corkscrew uh, because it doesn't look very pretty so have, try to have that on your back side. Uh, now that my glue is warmed up a little bit I'm just gonna start attaching these guys to each other. So just put a little bit of hot glue along the side and attach it to its buddy just like that. So the reason I had you organize your corks before you did anything, just because it makes it a little bit easier. It makes the process a little bit faster for when you're gluing it together. And of course, it does make it easier on myself as well. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going with this and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Once you're done with your hot glue and have everything dried in together, uh, it's going to look a little something like this. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out for myself. Uh, and I even had some extras to make a mini pumpkin. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, so for right now, we're just going to focus on our big guy right here. Uh, so for today, we're just going to start getting into decorating. So for instance, uh, I, well, first off, you're going to want to get rid of any of little glue pieces that you may see. Um, I know there is some empty spaces in here. Uh, some corks are a little bit red, some are a little bit white. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually paint the ones that are white a nice orange color. Uh, and I'm also going to be making uh, little leaves out of felt. So feel free to decorate however you want. If you want to use glitter, get into it. If you want to use little gemstones to decorate them, uh, that could also be a fun way to decorate them as well. Uh, this is just something easy that you can do. And if you want to leave it just as is, 
go for it. So I'm gonna get start decorating my own and I'll see you guys in a bit. I just finished up decorating my own. I put little felt leaves, a little bit of a ribbon, and I think they turned out pretty nice. So I hope you guys had fun with yours and that you feel free to get creative with your own. Uh, and we hope to see you again very soon. Have a good one.